Now for our ban pass and ban reject filters, there are just two more parameters for these rather than just a corner frequency. These filters actually have a center or a resonant frequency that is the center of either the pass or the reject band. And in a similar way, each of these bands will also have uh, corner frequencies that tell you the points where the filter begins to either accept or reject certain frequencies. And again, these corner frequencies are still defined as being at 70% of the signal's magnitude. So both of these are generally at 70% of the signal's magnitude when they begin accepting or rejecting a particular signal. And in this case, this would be a band pass filter because it would be rejecting those frequencies on either side and allowing signals in the middle. And because we have a band here, we're going to talk about a new parameter, which is called the band width. And the band width for these filters is just going to be the difference between the two corner frequencies. So how much frequencies are allowed between the two points of the band region. And this bandwidth is going to be important because it's a parameter that we get to control. And so again, a filter that has a tighter, uh, a smaller bandwidth is going to be much tighter and is going to target only a few more frequencies where something with a much wider bandwidth is going to allow or admit many more, frequ many more frequencies uh, than other filters. And so we have our two corner frequencies and the relationship between those provide that. And this center frequency is again the resonant frequency that we've been talking about in our circuits. It is also sometimes called the center frequency. So W naught is either our resonant or our center frequency for band pass or band reject filters.